Good morning, boys and girls. It's lovely to be with you this morning. I'm sorry I can't be with you in the hall. Hopefully that will happen soon. But uh, I do wish you all a happy new year and hope you all had a lovely uh, time on the Christmas break. Although that seems a long time ago now, doesn't it? But it's good to be with you and uh, it's a lovely day outside. You can probably see the sun coming in through my study window. And we are fortunate to live in this beautiful part of the world, aren't we? So near to the sea. And I don't know about you, but I love to go uh, to the coast, either to the beach or sometimes up onto the cliffs, uh, and to watch the sea coming in. Whether it's a lovely day like today, but also when it's stormy as well, when the wind gets up and the waves come crashing in. It's lovely to, to see that and uh, to, to be able to watch it crashing against the cliffs and spraying up uh, everywhere. And uh, it makes you realise just how powerful the sea is. And uh, I've got some pictures now of the uh, sea when it is rough and how those waves do come crashing in. So let's see that, shall we? Some of you may know that uh, before I became a priest, I was uh, in the Navy and, uh, and used to spend time at sea, sometimes in the middle of big storms. And I can tell you that it is, well, it's frightening, as you'll see, but it's also really exciting as well. I've got some pictures now of what it's like to be uh, on the bridge of a ship. That's where I used to be uh, when the sea gets very rough. Now today I want to tell you a story from the New Testament and it's about a man named Paul who uh, came just after Jesus had uh, died and risen to heaven. But Paul was responsible for making sure that the people all around the Mediterranean heard about Jesus and he travelled to lots of different places, sometimes on a ship, sometimes uh, over land. But eventually he upset a lot of people and uh, they demanded that he be arrested. And eventually he had to go to Rome uh, to be put on trial there, which meant that he had to sail across the Mediterranean Sea. So I'm going to read you the story of now, a uh, story of him now that uh, tells of him traveling from uh, Israel, from the land uh, of Israel to Rome. When they got on board ship, at first the sea was calm, but when the wind changed direction, the captain had difficulty trying to get the ship into a port. It was autumn, and during the winter storm, ships used to stay in a safe haven. Paul urged the captain of the ship not to sail any further, but to stay in a port. He said, I know we will all face disaster if we carry on with this voyage. But the owner of the ship wanted to get the cargo to Rome and the captain thought it would be all right to do so. And so they put out to sea. And as they set out, the wind was very light and gentle in the right direction. So they were pleased. But they hadn't gone too far when the fair wind changed to a fierce northeasterly wind. It howled and it shrieked in the rigging and it bore down on the timbers. Heavy seas lashed the decks, waves crashed over them. The crew worked really hard, roping down loose fittings and securing the ship's lifeboat. Then they threw a cargo and equipment overboard uh, that had become loose and they, uh, in order to lighten the ship. 
Well, for days and for nights on end, they could see neither sun nor moon. But in any case, it was impossible to steer the ship with the waves so big and the wind so strong. It had to just drift, being driven by the wind and battered by the waves. The crew were frightened. The passengers and the other prisoners on board were seasick. They all thought they would never see dry land again. But then Paul called everyone together. He said, you should have taken my advice, but don't give up. Take courage. The God whom I serve appeared to me last night, and he's promised me that every one of us will arrive safe on land. And I believe that God will make this happen. Well, that night, the sailors found that the sea was getting shallower. They took soundings and they were certain that land must be near. Once morning came, they were able to steer the ship ashore, but they uh, planned instead to escape themselves there and then. Some of them tried to get into the lifeboat, but the Roman guard, who was a soldier, stopped them and told them they must get back on board. Then Paul said, we've had nothing to eat for a long time. So he took some food and he thanked God for it. Then he and everyone else had something to eat and they felt much better for it. They waited until morning came. By first night, the sailors could make out the coastline and see an inviting sandy bay. They had no idea where they were, but they hoisted the sail, hoping that the ship would be blown onto that shore. But instead, it hit a sandbank, and with that, the boat began to break up all around them as they were smashed by the heavy seas. Shall we kill the prisoners to stop them escaping? The soldiers asked their captain. But the man in charge had grown to like Paul and he wanted to save him. So he gave orders instead that everyone should abandon the ship and make for the shore as best they could. Those who couldn't swim grabbed pieces of timber from the ship and they floated into land. One way and another, everyone got ashore safely, all 276 people on board. It was just as God had promised. No one was lost. And then they discovered that they had actually arrived on the island of Malta. Well, the story continues and it is very exciting. But for the moment, they were safe on the island of Malta. But there's an example of Paul and all those on board needing to be courageous, to take courage. Uh, in order to the, get them through the storm that they faced. And storms come in many different ways. Of course, we see them at sea, but sometimes when things go wrong in people's lives, maybe they're sick, maybe just everything happens to go wrong for them. They talk of that being a storm of life. And I believe God is with us when we uh, are in those times. God, if we want, will share with us and help us through those difficult times. And that's really good news. In a moment, we're going to hear a hymn that talks about uh, going through the storms of life with Jesus helping us through. If we're anchored to God, they say, we will be able to weather those storms. But before then, I want to uh, pray with you. So, dear Lord and Heavenly Father, we do pray for those who are at sea at the moment and caught in storms. We pray that you'll keep them safe and bring them through. But, Lord, we know storms come in all different sorts of ways. And we pray for all those facing difficulty or illness at this time. We pray, Lord, that you would bring them through. So bless them and bless us, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I'm going to say goodbye for now and leave you with this lovely hymn. Bye-bye.